language can sometimes be a barrier. Clearly, as someone who has like a dialect or an accent, I know. But um, I'm thinking of that because in a weird way, wind is a language too. And without wind, there would be no language at all. I've always had a fascination with wind chimes in particular. I think they're one of the most beautiful instruments because it's sort of nature's language, the language of the wind, if you will. And I think there's just something profoundly beautiful about the randomness of them. A stormy day will make a different kind of music, a soft, gentle breeze, just a little hint of sparkles. When we did our six-piece wind chime ensemble, I sort of had the idea of making wind chimes on steroids because I love them so much. So we gathered six of them in an orchestral hall and then just played them in all the different ways. Huge glissandos, very sort of ethereal textures. I remember at one point I asked um, the six percussionists to play like a starry night. And that made no sense. And that's why I sort of mentioned the sort of lingual barrier. They're like a starry night. What, what do you mean with that? The notion was just that I saw the stars in the sky, how they sort of gently sometimes blink at the nighttime as the heat goes through the atmosphere. And I love that notion and I wanted the same notion in sound, just a very little like gling and then wait. Blim. Because when you play them on the keyboard with multiple keys, all those very sort of singular little starlights, if you will, would create beautiful atmospheres. That's one out of many of the parts inside of the library here. And it's truly one of my favorite ensemble libraries of all time. There's just something profoundly beautiful about playing with the wind, with the chimes, all combined inside a sound paint. Now, before we get started and before Nicolette Semrat comes in and really shows you what else you can do with wind chimes, let me just show you the different parts here. If you look in the parts browser here, you'll notice that we both have bamboo wind chimes and traditional glissando wind chimes and then these beautiful starry night kind of chimes as well. Let me just play with the bamboo first. There's something so beautiful about orchestral halls. Like if I take the closed microphone here, this is still in the hall, but it's a little more sort of near field. It's beautiful, but down here with the deck, it's just... No reverb can do that. It's like an ocean of wind chimes, right? Love it. Every single key has different wind chimes in the center of the keyboard here. Let's go to the next one, which is the glissando as well. So these are traditional metallic wind chimes you'll see in orchestral music doing all sorts of different glissandos. Again, unique samples per key. And you notice that there's both up and down motions in them. And different kind of speeds as well. Let me just try just for the fun of it to take our time module here and slow this like way, way down. I'm kind of curious what that sounds like. One of the cool things in sound paint is that if you take time all the way down, you can freeze down to zero. So we'll be freezing the chimes forever. Maybe that's a little bit harsh. Let's go in almost frozen. So even though this might take a few samples in real time, this might take like a minute or so when it's like this frozen state.
Anyway, I shouldn't play with this because Nicholas is going to take over and really go deep into it. Before he does that, let me just show one last thing, which is these Starry Night kind of articulations I talked about. I love these so much. They were surprisingly difficult to do. We spent a couple of hours just recording this sample set here, and I remember that very vividly because you're on the clock when you're in a hall, but I really wanted them perfectly, meaning that the players had to slow way down because I wanted this sort of starry night kind of feel. You'll see what I mean. Now, keep in mind that it's a six piece ensemble. So for that reason, it was really like, no, no guys, you gotta slow down. Cause like one is just standing there like, it should only play every like 20 seconds, like bling, yeah. And as I mentioned, when you play them together, you start getting these sort of beautiful ethereal textures. Let me just take one of them here. Oh, I love this one here. It's that sort of clear ping in the beginning. Let me take a one note stretch on that. Let's see what happens. Is it me or does that sound like church bells down here? Let me um, try to go like down an octave more here. Let's say minus 12. It totally sounds like church bells. Welcome to Wind Chimes. Nick Simrad is gonna take over and show some crazy magic on all these ethereal, beautiful wind chimes. They can be a lot more than what I just demonstrated. So, thanks for watching.
Thank you.